Okay, we should probably turn off the lights so you can see them better. That's not them. <laughs> I'm still learning where the lights are just are. To us, home is all about family, and our heritage is a big part of who we are. Our goal is to not only engrave our family history into our children's hearts, but into the walls of our new home during our biggest adventure yet. Join us as we travel back to our roots to seek inspiration, discover cultures that are in our blood, and source products to make our new house a home. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 31 of Making a House a Home. Today we are going to be walking through our master bedroom and our master bathroom. But before we dive into the episode, be sure to subscribe to our channel, follow along on Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up. All right, come inside our bedroom. Okay, first things first, we have these fun mirrors. These were the first thing that we purchased for the room. Felt like it was more than a mirror, it was more like an art piece. But um, generally, we always have had like a dresser in our bedroom and we decided to get rid of it. And honestly, it feels so freeing to have this room just feel so minimal. I had like a full drawer just full of random pajamas that I got rid of and just feels so good to have less stuff. So yeah, this is where you'll see on Instagram now that we have this room revealed, I'll be doing more like outfit of the days maternity inspiration. And then moving over to this cozy little corner of our bedroom. I love this space because it's a place that we can lounge and read. And I don't know, it just is a separate part from the bed itself. And I think this is gonna come in handy when baby number three arrives because it's like a, a place where I can have a bassinet and just kind of like be breastfeeding in the middle of the night. We have the books, the rest of the books that we got um, from that antique market when we were in London. And then this is one of the cameras that I have collected over the years. As you know, I'm a big vintage camera collector. And so this is just one of them. You'll see them kind of throughout our house. We brought in one of our fiddle leaf figs and this one is becoming unruly in here. Honestly, I think we're gonna have another Jumanji tree in here very soon. And then we have this ladder over here that we've put some blankets on. To just kind of get cozy on this little chase lounge. It was so important for us when we were building this home to have a lot of natural light in our bedroom. In our previous home, we only had like two little windows in our bedroom and it just always felt like really dark. I don't know, it was kind of hard to get out of bed in the morning. And so this was initially only supposed to have two windows on this wall, but we added a third one and I love it. It looks out to our back patio. And then we also have a door that accesses out to our back patio as well. And we made sure to do a window paneling. And honestly, I just love having all the natural light in here. It's funny because the first night that we stayed in this house, it was like we were camping because we didn't have any window coverings yet and we had our mattress on the floor and it was like what like 5 30 a.m and the sun came piercing in <laughs> it's just kind of funny it's only been like a month but that already feels like a lifetime ago that we had our first morning in this house and it was like where are we and then here is the main part of our bedroom our bed i wanted to do linen bedding just because i love the way that it can just kind of be like tossed and messy, but yet it still has a way of always looking beautiful, even when it's unmade. All of the pictures that I found like on Pinterest and stuff that I really loved, all of the sheets and like the bedding were kind of like ruffled up. And I just love that um, when it's unmade, it still can look pretty in here. And then you'll notice that our two end tables are actually mismatched. And this was the idea of our friends at House of Jade. And I was really unsure about it at first, but it actually came together so cute. And then we have like this little dish that I can put like my wedding ring in and jewelry before bed, little candle. You know we love some greenery. And then um, we went with these lights from Lighting Design. So we had our electrician actually wire the light into the ceiling so that we could have a bedside lamp without having like a lamp taking up the real estate of the table, if that makes sense. So we have these little switches right here that turn off and on the lights. And honestly, it's one of my favorite parts about the entire bedroom. Here's a little peek at the other end table that we have in here. I love it because it literally looks like a tree 
in our bedroom. And you know how much I love having that natural raw wood incorporated into all of our different spaces. We did this pencil molding on this wall. It was something that we saw a lot of pictures of and wanted to just bring something a little bit like subtle but playful into this room. And so we had the pencil molding go all the way from behind our bed, across the ceiling, onto the other side of the room. And I love it. I love waking up in the bed every morning and seeing that pencil molding. I don't know, it's just kind of a fun detail to the room. Okay, and then Brad and I were going back and forth trying to decide like, okay, should we do a really funky, fun light in the middle of this room or should we do a fan? I was leaning towards doing a light and Brad was more leaning towards a fan and Brad won. <laughs> but I'm so happy because I love it. We've never had a fan in our bedroom before and it's nice to just have it on at night. It just brings like a little bit of air to the room. Now I'm addicted. Gotta have a fan in my bedroom for the rest of my life. Before we go into the master bathroom, I wanna show the doors that go in. These are very similar to our office doors, the ones that Lucy helped stain, and I love them. We actually usually keep them open all the time, and so it's fun to see them close like this and see all the details, but let's go into the master bath. So yeah, we usually just have these open all the time, but welcome to our master bath. Surprisingly, this room was the hardest room out of the entire house to design. We initially had like blue tile staggering this entire wall right here. White cabinetry, like literally everything was so different. We changed it a million times, but I'm so happy how it turned out because I feel like it complements our bedroom and all the other spaces of our home. It just like matches the same vibe. So the first thing we decided on was doing wood cabinetry. This is the same color as the wood shelving that we have in our kitchen. And we wanted to do mixed metals in here, kind of like what we have going on in all the other rooms of our house. And then we wanted to pull in that concrete kind of vibe. And so we chose this big tile which I'll show you how it complements with the tile that we have behind our bath. Um, it's a little bit more busy in there, and so we felt like we needed to do something that was just like a little bit bigger, a little bit more simple. We decided to do these faucets coming out of the wall, and I love how they turned out. This is something that we got inspiration from staying in Norway. There was this really cute faucet coming out of the wall in one of the laundry rooms where we were staying. And so we wanted to replicate that in our bathroom. And then we added vessels and a quartz countertop. The tricky thing about doing the quartz was deciding where to have it stop because having the faucet come out of the sink, it just felt weird. I don't know, having it only go so high or if it went too high, then it was gonna interfere with our mirror. And so honestly, like between our builder and our interior designer, they brought it all together and I couldn't be more happy with it. But inside our cabinetry, we wanted to be really mindful about like where we put drawers and how everything kind of functions in here. We did this fun little drawer down below, which has actually been so handy. And here's where I sit and do my makeup with this little mirror that I got at Target. I'll link it along with everything else. I just love having a vanity area. I've never had that before. I've always had to stand up and do my makeup. We have these fun little drawers. I'm gonna show mine because mine's more organized than Brad, believe it or not. We wanted to have a spot for like toothbrushes and I wanted a place for my straightener, my curling iron. And so there's actually an outlet in the back of the cabinet here so I can just turn it on and off and then like quickly do my hair. Okay, we should probably turn off the lights so you can see them better because I love the combo of these lights in here. That's not, that. That's not them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning where the light switches are. Okay, there we go. But we got these lights along with all of the lights in our home from Lighting Design. This middle one is Hudson Valley Mitzi brand. I love it. I feel like it brings in that feminine touch while the ones on the outside bring in more of that like modern flair that we wanted in our bathroom. And I just feel like they go together really fun with that concrete touch on the middle light mixed with all of the goldy brass. And then moving over here, we have this barn door with our closet, which 
I'm not gonna show it right now because it needs some major organizing. And then we decided to put this floor length mirror right here outside of the closet just so that it's easy access to like full length mirror. And then this is my favorite part of the bathroom is our bathtub. You guys know that I'm a huge bath person. This faucet comes with a little sprayer and so it's been nice to even bathe the kids in here. The first bath they took in here, they turned it into like a splash pad water park. They're like sliding and spraying each other while Brad and I were out doing some house projects. We come in and we're like, what happened? But luckily it's like floor to ceiling tile and pretty bulletproof in here. And then we have this really fun chandelier that goes above our tub. This is also from Lighting Design and I love it. I feel like it just looks like a bubble bath. And then the tile on the wall in here was something we went back and forth about so many times. It was so important for us to find a tile that had kind of a handcrafted feel to it. And this was actually the same tile in blue that we were gonna do on the other wall, but we decided to do white. And I'm so happy we did white just because it makes this room feel super airy and clean. And then at the end of our tub, we have this little table that I keep my bath salts in, shampoo and conditioner. It doesn't usually look this tidy. It's usually taken over by like Shopkins and all sorts of bath toys. And then last but certainly not least is the shower. And I will speak for Brad when he says this is one of his favorite parts of the entire home because we got a rainhead shower head. Brad is 6'5", and so literally like any shower he has to like duck down and bend over in. And so he loves having this. I actually end up using this faucet more than the rain head, even though the rain head's great, but um, I just love this because here. I love having this wand because it's just like has a lot of power to it. I can just like quickly shower down or I can just, oh my gosh, it's dripping on me. <laughs> or I can just have it like this and take just like a normal shower. And then I guess lastly, I wasn't even going to talk about this. We have a separate toilet room, which I love because if someone's in the shower, honestly, you can just like shut the door and have its own little space. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but right now it's so funny because we don't have any window coverings in here. You cannot have the light on or else it's like, hello everyone, look at me as I'm up here on my throne. All right, but that is a wrap for our master bedroom and master bath reveal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to tell us your favorite part along with what you guys want to see next. And be sure to subscribe to our channel, follow along on Instagram, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,